how to prioritize my life. It's something that a lot of people come to me and ask, how do I set priorities? How do I make sure that I come first and in a way that I'm not being selfish? All of these questions about prioritization, it comes down to three core steps. And I'm going to give you those three core steps today. But first, I want you to check and see if you're a subscriber to this channel because we are always giving you wonderful tricks, tips, guidance, all sorts of information for all of the areas of your life. So check and see if you're a subscriber. And if not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it if you can see that. What that's gonna do is just put us in your notification feed on YouTube so that you know the next time that we drop a video like this to help you live a more successful, self-prioritized life. Okay, we're going to bring you those three core steps to understanding how to prioritize everything in your life. Just a second. Guild Coaching, more success, less stress. Prioritizing things in your life doesn't come naturally to everyone, especially because a lot of us are taught to always put others first. Okay, that's not one of my three steps at all. I actually want to address that first so that we can dispel that false teaching. You shouldn't put others first. Now, I'm saying that as a mother of five kids, I've got animals, I've got a business, lots of clients, I've got a husband, we have lots of different interests and friends and things going on, so how do I sustain all of that without putting others first? I understand that if I put others first before me, then I'm trying to serve from a cup that's not full. So consider, think about a pitcher of water and a cup. If the pitcher of water is not full, you don't have as much to pour out into the cup. So you are that pitcher. If you're not prioritizing you, yourself, your self-care at the things that you need to be full to be your best self, then you are trying to serve from a partially empty cup. So you have to prioritize yourself first. Here is how, okay? I'm gonna give you my top three must do steps to knowing how to prioritize your life, not only in a way that's going to get everything done. And I'm all about getting everything done y'all, <laughs> but not only in a way that's about getting everything done, but it's also uh, in a way that's going to honor you and help fill your cup even more. Does that sound good? Great. Get your note taking supplies ready. You know that I always ask you to take notes because that helps to solidify your learning. And if you don't have a paper and pen, no problem. You're here and that means that you have access to the comment section below this video. So open that up and you can use that as your notebook. I love seeing people take notes in here all the time. You can mark this video, like this video, give it a thumbs up. It goes on your liked videos list and then you can come back and look at your notes anytime. It's a notebook you can never lose. All right, get ready because I'm about to give you my number one top element for understanding how to prioritize your life. You have to connect with your core values. A lot of people say, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what that means. Your core values change over time. So let's think about when you were really little, your core values were probably um, not feeling hungry. So food, nutrition, not feeling tired. So sleep, are you hearing a bunch of self-care stuff here? Me too. Uh, sleep, you know, love, compassion. These are all basic needs. So your core values were wrapped around those basic needs. And then your universe expanded and they changed a little bit. Let's think about preteens and teenagers, how, how much community means to them, how much their image in their community means to them, their communication quality, all of that. Then you get older, your goals change, and so your core values also are shifting at the same time. This is a, a constantly moving target. Um, and so people say, how do I figure out my core values? Well, we have a tool for that. You can open up the video description and go down and find, we have lots of links and things that we're always giving you, but go down and find the link to the Life Planner, the Guild Coaching Life Planning Guide. And that is what you need. That'll help you figure out your more, much more than just your goals, but also, you know, your mission in your life and all of that, uh, all of that sort of wonderful stuff. You have to understand those core values. And a lot of people, if I show them a, a page full of core value options, they'll pick like 50. <laughs> 
No, you really need to boil it down to about five. You, you will have more than five values, obviously, but you really need to boil it down to about the five that are most important. So mine, for example, family, community, authenticity, humor, and loyalty are my five. So when I have those core values in mind, then anything that goes on in my life, I can say, all right, I have these core values. Does this thing that, that I want to do align with these core values? And so you have this wonderful basis of who you really are boiled down into these values. And, and it really is your North star. It's your guiding light. So number one is understand, get to know, and really be friends with your core values. Number two, weigh your commitments. Now having those core values, it's going to help you know what you want to commit to and what you don't want to commit to, right? So understanding those values is, is first, but being able to say no to requests for commitments is huge. If I say yes to all the requests that come my way, I, I don't sleep. I don't see my family. I don't, I don't eat. I certainly don't have time to exercise. So I have to understand what my values are and those act as my guiding light when I'm deciding what my commitments are going to be. I don't make commitments that are not in line with those core values ever. Because if I do, then I start to go off track. My cup starts to empty. I start to serve from a cup that's not full. And I know if I'm serving from a cup that's not full, I'm not bringing you my best. And don't you deserve my best? Don't other people deserve your best? Absolutely. So prioritizing ourselves is how we can give more fully and understanding what commitments to accept and what commitments to reject is very integral to that process. All right. So number one, know your core values. Number two, weigh your commitments and don't be afraid to say no. By the way, check out the video description. There is a guide for how to say no without saying no. A lot of people don't say no because they don't know how. I've done it for you. I've given you all sorts of different ways to politely refuse things if you um, don't have a comfort level with saying no. So check that out. So number three, it's your outlook on obstacles. Outlook on obstacles. A lot of people will see an obstacle, roadblock, something that makes an obstacle is something that makes it difficult for you to get where you wanted to go. They see it and they're like, oh, never going to be able to do this. Or it's a sign. I'm just not supposed to. No, no, no. It's all about mindset. <laughs> we say that all the time. Mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. Change your mindset about obstacles. Make your outlook on obstacles different. Obstacles aren't there to stop you. Obstacles are there to challenge you. And challenges aren't bad. Challenges are really, really good. You want to be challenged. You want to become a better version of yourself. We only become better through challenges. When I think about me and my own fitness journey, for example, I, I don't, I, I lift weights, light weights, but still weights. If I don't judge my performance against my last performance and then add more weight to increase the challenge as my muscle capability grows, then I'm not going to grow. I'm just going to sustain. And we're on a growth journey here together. So you've got to change your outlook on obstacles. I don't look at the more weight as like, oh, it's an obstacle. I'm never going to be able to do that. No, it's a challenge. It's going to help make me more fit, stronger, more toned. Absolutely. Is it going to be difficult? Yes. Is it going to be doable? Yes, it is. And that's how any obstacle is. There are obstacles everywhere, but how can you shift them to work in your favor? How can you shift them to be something that helps you to grow instead of something that causes you to stop? Ah, it's a shift. It's a mindset shift. All of this really boils back to mindset. It's mindset that helps create your core values. It's mindset that allows you to align your commitments with those values. And it's mindset that allows you to see obstacles as things that can fuel you instead of things that rule over you. If this has been any help to you, if you've had any aha moments, if you're taking anything away from this, give us a thumbs up. And again, if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget, hit that button and the bell so you know the next time that we drop a video to help you live a fuller, more fulfilling, happier life.